Hi, I'm Jade, and today I will be going over a small uh, routine of how I work on the feet when someone is laying face down, and also how I kind of make them feel like if they just came in to get a foot massage that they may actually feel like they got a full body with some leg compressions as well. So I like to, as usual, like kind of grab onto the ankles and gently pull on the legs kind of helps um, release any pressure in the lower back or in the hips. I like to um, compress the feet a little bit. Okay. So I usually like to lead with some compressions onto the legs. And if you're a massage therapist, um, you'll know you'll, you usually have the sheet covering someone right now. And I do the compressions over the top of the sheet first. That's, that's kind of my choice. Um, and I would typically rotate it to the other side of the table and do compressions on the other side as well. So just imagine them over there. Then I come down to the, the feet and I like to do this standing. And um, I just start right here, kind of getting lotion on there and I strip down. I find working the, the, the bottoms of the feet this way is really great because um, you're standing and you're able to lean a little bit more into the, uh, the muscles and into the foot and create a, a deeper pressure. It's uh, also extremely beneficial for you so you're not having to have your hands do all the work. And you may find that there's some crunchy areas right, right here in the arch. Sometimes I like to even uh, place my thumb right there and hold it. Is that okay for you? Okay. Um, and sometimes I do a little circular motion. We tend to make our arches work overtime in shoes that don't love us back. <laughs> and again, just big strips down. And you can do this motion like over the top of your thumb. Imagine you're rolling something out. Then come up to the heel. And here, like as I said, when you're standing here and you're working this point, um, you can get in a little deeper than if you were sitting working on the foot. Especially with them laying um, face down, it really helps. And when someone is face down, I typically don't work their toes from this angle. It doesn't seem to work as well um, for, for your body, and it doesn't get the same effect as if they were face up. And then I like to you know, make a gentle fist, just bend, bend my fingers, little knuckles, and I just rotate up and down, up and down. You can do a little friction. And then I like to take the flat of my hand, one on top of the other, and just press down. I like to do that a couple times. Just gets the full effect. Your whole hand is like flattening over um, the foot. Sometimes we get really bad cramps in our feet or our feet are really tight. And the idea of like, I kind of like to think of this as rolling out dough. time and then you would um, just head on over to the other side of it and kind of work the same routine I won't show compressions over here but just pressing those thumbs in and leaning in working that arch area and if it's sore there hold that spot And 
can always communicate with your client whether uh, it's too much or not enough. Some clients will grit their teeth and not tell you, so it's very important to listen whether um, to the response in their body or just simply check in a couple times. And then up to the heel. I like to crisscross, circle motion, strip down. Those knuckles and do that motion back and forth. Oh, sometimes your knuckles will crack too. <laughs> and then the flat hand all the way down. Like you're flattening it out, rolling it out like dough. And if a client has asked me that they want more focus on their feet, I make time to come and sit down here and get nice and comfortable and work their feet this way. So of course, like you wanna stretch a little bit and then individually I will work on the feet, just stretching out. So both, imagine, you know, both of your thumbs are touching and you're pulling out and you're gonna work all the way down the foot and all the way up. work all the way up into the ball, the foot, or the heel, excuse me. And then we'll come back down right behind the toes and you're gonna strip all the way up. And this is where people get plantar fasciitis. It can get very tight. So this can feel great on people or it can hurt. So you need to make sure as usual you're communicating. Or you can just do one finger instead of, or I'll have it trail behind your thumbs. And imagine pushing into it. And then you can start at the top, both thumbs together, relaxed, and pull. When you're working on someone, you want to make sure you're really using your whole body and not just working your hands here because they will get tired. So use your own body weight to lean back. And then go to the other side. Same thing, where we start here and we strip away. Thumbs touch, strip away. Make sure to work all the way down. straight down, right through that plantar fa fascia area. Or you can alternate one thumb then the other, like it's trailing it. And when you're doing this, you'll find yourself, your the rest of your fingers behind the foot kind of pulling over the webs of the feet. That can feel very good for the client as well. And then I like to place both of my hands on the client and press in using the, the flat of my hand. So using your body weight, leaning back, you know, or leaning into something so you're not making your hands do all the work. You wanna make sure you're saving your body so you can have a long lasting career. And then flip the knuckles. And I like to alternate one, then the other. Or you can come over here and do one, then the other. And last but not least, grasp the ankles again. Gently pull, nice slow motion. We'll do that one more time. Then I always like to end with a little stretching sometimes too, so that's usually good. Um, I like to take the flat of my hand and press it gently, so I also use the other hand to prop up the leg. As always, remember that 
This is supposed to be passive for them. So if they're lifting their leg, I try to ask them to just let go, let, let their foot or leg fall into you and then stretch. You're going to gently push and let it out and push and let it out. You can do that two or three times and then just stretch it out. And then you can go over to the other side and do the same thing. Prop it up and gently push and release. Push, release. And gently pull out. Then I like to always push out. This helps with the hips, releasing the hips. Just gentle pushing out all the way down. Do it right till you're right below the knee and work your way down again. And then you're gonna switch that motion and you're gonna push the legs in. This isn't anything forceful, you know, just very gentle. It's also a good way, if say you were ending your massage this way to kind of wake them up, you could actually jostle them a little bit more like this. Just kind of bring blood full, wake the muscles up. Go ahead and grab on. I interlock your fingers, hands on either side of the heel, and gently pull. And sometimes, if you feel like the um, lotion uh, that you've used in oil and you're slipping a little bit, I like to throw a towel over the foot, and you can do just the same grasp, but you'll have a little bit more firm hold. And then you switch over to the other side. And at any point, you can always hold it just a little bit more. And also remember not to grip your own hand very tight. This is just, should be very gentle. Think of yourself as a, a connection from the client, you know. And release. And as always, another light pull. Gentle pull this way. Gentle pressure point here. Another point here and never forget the arches. And then sweep down. And that is how I would do a uh, foot massage with someone laying down. Facing. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, the next video, I will be talking about more foot, type, foot massage with people facing up. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and know I'm rooting for your health. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv. Get well, feel better.